Welcome back. Time now for Positively Milwaukee. They are colleagues and friends, and that friendship led to a life-saving kidney donation. Tony Atkins tells us how the story of two St. Luke's employees are now bonded for life. The workplace friendship that turned out to be life-saving. Tonight we take a look at the gift one employee here at Aurora Health gave to another. Meet Tina Bajwa and Phil Hudson. The two are longtime friends and colleagues at St. Luke's, but little did they know their friendship would be life-saving. I'm friends with his wife. We started uh, becoming family friends. We'd go out for dinners and stuff. And once at a dinner, I did tell him that, you know, I have this disease and down the road I would need a kidney. That conversation was more than 10 years ago. This year, the talk finally manifested. Tina's inherited polycystic kidney disease finally needed to be addressed. In January of 2021, my um, nephrologist told me that my kidney function has deteriorated enough that I would need a transplant. I had tremendous support and um, I was trying to stay positive. After rounds of testing between Tina's friends and family, it would be Phil, her longtime friend, who would be the perfect match. Mary and I told her that when, when it was time uh, that she should call us and, and we'd be happy to help out. Phil says it was a no-brainer. She told me that she had gotten on the list and the next day I called our transplant clinic. In Wisconsin, more than 1,300 people are on the waiting list for a kidney transplant. Waiting for that procedure could take years. Doctors say giving up a kidney to someone else is safe. An individual with two healthy kidneys, if everything else is okay, could donate one kidney and still live a pretty healthy life. The odds of Tina and Phil's friendship turning into this might have been unlikely, but it happened. Tina says she's internally grateful. Oh, I can't thank him enough. I can't thank him enough. He has given me a second chance to life. In Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News. Thanks, Tony. And be sure to join Carol this Sunday morning for Positively Milwaukee with Carol Meekins. It airs Sundays at 9 a.m. right here on TMJ4.